One wrench back in with another edition of Hard Sin Cigars. Today it is the Gaia Can by Noel Rojas Habano Ecuador. Oh man, it is a nice looking stick. The wrapper is Habano Ecuadorian, binder and filler is Agonorsa Leaf Crilio 98. Man in robusto size and that is a beautiful beautiful looking wrapper nice looking filler not really fond of the foot bands sometimes because if they over glued them well you're fucked and then they could rip or split oh, this thing looks like she's gonna be a light pain in the ass Look at how she wants to come off. Jesus. And right underneath there, you can see it's a little kind of funk. Let's throw that away and get back to business. Business at hand, boys. It smells beautiful like a just rich, fragrant tobacco field. Like a, like an allspice, you know, rich, earthy fragrance. Bad. V cut. Sometimes a blow on them just make sure you don't get a little of that tobacco in your mouth. See so what we got in the cold draw. A little spice. Spice, so why don't we go ahead for toast this up? Oh, and this is by Noel Rojas. First time. Now it's looking fine. Black pepper, but like a spice with it. Like a heat, like a cayenne with that black pepper. Definitely. Today we're going to be pairing it with Chris Kindle Apple Punch, straight from Nuremberg, Germany. Let's see what we got here. I want to do something a little bit different than the paps like I normally do. Let's see how she tastes. Almost uh, has like a dry champagne taste or smell. Prost. Cinnamon. And some light clove. Apple. That fucking kind of kind of rocks. A little light though. It's only nine percent.
and it's it's deep leatheriness black pepper it's gonna start out good definitely looks like we got a nice burn we'll put a little time in get that back that burn straightened out crazy I mean you can see that real flaky I mean this thing the the wrapper was like it was crazy wavy for a, for a while but that you know that burn I, I was doing about one to two pulls off of this a minute and that burn got crazy when I picked it up uh, to three to four, then it corrected. So three to four means she's an attention whore. The leatheriness and the pepper and that, the black pepper and that little bit of like a heat cayenne, that's kind of gone, man, for half of the first third right down here. I mean, I couldn't get the leather. It was like a subtle leather, but leather, but it was way, way down in the throat. Um, now, I mean, it's like a, if you smoke meats, that and like you breathe, you open up the smoker and that smoke comes in, that's, that's the taste I'm getting right now. It's just real smoky oak. But it is good. It, it tastes it tastes really nice. Only problem I'm having is that the smoke is almost so dry where it's just drying the hell out of my mouth. In the Chris Kindle, almost feeling like a dry champagne. Both of those being so dry, it's a little little too much. So. We'll switch back to a beer we're gonna leave that for another time but that stuff fucking it's fantastic I mean it just doesn't go with this I think if this cigar wasn't as dry of a smoke cotton mouthy kind of I think that would you know it would pair very well you know like that stuff I can imagine myself like if I was hanging out with Krampus, and all, all my friends in Europe know who Krampus is, he's much bigger there. We pour some codeine in that, take it to another new level, smoke cigars, dropping off fucking packages at bad kids' houses. You know, and then, mm, very, very smoky and woodsy right now. Not stacking dimes, but it, it's good. You know, and my daughter, she's back from college, just for a week, you know, come to, come to visit, flew in. And yesterday we had family game night. We're playing the Cheaters Monopoly, if you've ever played. And me and my daughter on one side, table, my wife and my son are on the other. And they're fucking vicious, man. Vicious. Fucking like hyenas. Me and my daughter, man, we ended up having to team up and we still lost. My kid, holy fuck. I tell you what, if food saw and building shit doesn't fucking pan out, this kid could fucking rob a bank, dude. He's fucking, he's got the money going out. I mean, you can't, you watch him and you can't even fucking see him steal the money that good <laughs> what the fuck oh. and then you 
now I took that ash off and just a little bit better. Had to come back in about halfway through the second third just to, you know, that whole smoker type flavor, that smoky meats flavor, that all gone. And it switched over to almost a, like a dark roast coffee. And on the front, then on the back, when it's finishing off, gets like a nice cream. Like you just oops, I'm gonna add a little, little creamer to that, you know, and uh, super, super tasty, super tasty. I just, just had to pop back in and drop that. Burn's still pretty good. <clears throat> you know, I'm decided to do a little different. I'm gonna start ranking my cigars in my review. Um, one out of 10, 10 being the best. And this one I'm gonna put about a six. Right now I got real oily cedar coming through. Not bad. But the funky wavy burn that I had for a while, that's, you know, that was a negative. How cotton mouthy and dry the smoke was and it made my mouth, <clears throat> um, you know, that, that was something I think if I'd smoke it again, I maybe move to like a creamier drink, you know, maybe something with some Baileys in it or something. Um, it wasn't too, wasn't overly complicated. It was, um, it's the majority of flavors. There's not a lot of profile changes. The majority of flavors through this whole cigar, you know, what is smoky woods. Um, and then the sea, this cedar with the heavy oil, it's predominantly woodsy. Except for the startup with the, the good black pepper, the leatheriness, that cayenne spice. For like the first quarter, the quarter of the first third, it was really, really nice. And then when I had that, dark roast on the front with that cream on the back so delicious but those points were like it's too far in between um i'm not one for just a super predominantly woodsy cigar so I, you know that's why i'm hitting this down here and then why i gave it the six also is i had to relight it up <clears throat> a couple of times because it went out on me even though I'm hitting it four times four times a minute it still went out on me I set it down for a sec and I feel like if I set it down for a minute minute and a half that it was it was almost completely out and I had to relight it um it's had it effortless pulls off of here um the smoke output is nice. Um, oh shit, she's rolling away. <clears throat> Just not something I think that I would go out and buy again. But that's my opinion. And uh, if you like predominantly woodsy cigars, you check that out. Because you might find that very, very good. Um, not the worst thing I smoked, but not the best thing I smoked. So until next time, oh, shit. Get out there, hit that subscribe button. And we are almost to a 100 followers. We're 15 away. So get out there, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your grandparents. If your grandparents are in a nursing home, tell that man. Send them a laptop, get them hooked up on YouTube. Tell them to follow Hard Soon Cigars.
If you're down in Texas, hopefully they can figure out your power situation, get you all back up and settled and running again. It's 2021. I mean, I think could have been a better job done handling that whole thing. But hey, I'm not, I'm not in government, you know, so don't take don't take my advice. Till next time, prost.